Okay, so today we are going to um, uh, introduce you to something really cool um, called the Revolute Mate, um, and uh, hopefully that gets you using the different mating tools in general that are available in Onshape. So to get started, we're going to click on the front um, plane so that we're looking at it square. I'm going to say Sketch. I'm going to choose the plane to sketch on. Uh, then I'm going to go up to my center point circle and we're going to make a circle and I'm going to dimension this and we're going to make that one inch in diameter. Uh, now we're going over here to extrude. We're going to stretch this guy out to three inches. See that we've made it three inches. Enter. Check. And we should have a three inch cylinder. Yep, good. Uh, in addition, <clears throat> we're going to put some letters on this um, because eventually we're going to spin it around and if there's nothing on it, it's hard to see whether it's spinning. So I'm going to say sketch. I'm going to sketch on my existing cylinder. And I'm going to choose the text tool. And I'm just going to say REV because we're going to check out the um, Revolute tool, Revolute Mate, and I'm going to extrude that. Um, we're going to say 0.25 inches. And so now what we should have is a cylinder with the letters REV on it. Now we're going to do something we haven't done too much. We're going to go down to this little plus sign at the bottom, and I'm going to check it, and we're going to make a new part studio. And um, we're going to look at this part studio from the front as well. We're going to say sketch. We're going to tell it sketch on the front plane. We're going to make a circle. We're going to make this circle. Whoa. This circle. Three inches. We're going to extrude that out. Um, two inches. So it's a bigger circle, but not uh, bigger in diameter, but not as long of a cylinder. And now we're going to make a hole in this uh, cylinder, which you should have done before. And we're going to click on my existing cylinder, make a center point circle. Remember, if I get over this, the little square pops up to show me that is the center. That is the center. And I'm going to dimension that circle. And we're going to make that circle one inch. And now we're going to make the hole by going back to my extrude and saying remove and saying through all and if I'm lucky we have a donut a cylinder with a hole in it great um, now we're gonna do something new uh, well maybe new uh, we're gonna go down here to the assembly assembly uh, allows you to uh, bring different parts that you've already made either in this document or in other documents and kind of uh, put them in different places and uh, you know reorient them. So I'm going to click on assembly, and we're going to go up to insert up here, and we're going to stick with the current document. I'm going to take my cylinder with the letters on it, and uh, that is now in our document. And then I'm going to pick the second uh, cylinder with the hole in it. That in the document. Go ahead and check out of that. And now we're going to introduce you to the Revolute Mate. Um, here is the mate. And what this allows you to do is simply, it allows you to spin circular or cylindrical shaped objects inside things that have uh, circular shaped openings. Um, could have a lot of uh, applications to uh, your work. Um, okay, so um, it's pretty simple how it works. I'm going to click on it and choose it. And then once I have chosen it and I bring my cursor down to the uh, plane, it's going to keep on giving me this red, green, blue um, option. And what that's doing is giving me options uh, 
as to where to center and where to connect uh, the two items. So um, notice if I'm moving around, it jumps a little bit. Um, and what I want is I want the center of this cylinder to go right in the middle of the hole in that cylinder. So I, this is the circle I wanted there, or the center I wanted. Click and go over to where I want that center to be centered. Right here, click. And now I'm going to spin this around so we can see the letter side. And if I hit the play button, it will show us how that thing can spin around. Notice that the REV is spinning inside of the uh, bigger uh, cylinder. So that's it. Um, uh, you can use uh, the fasten mate, which just makes the two things lock together. You can use the slider mate right here, which if you could use to have two similarly shaped um, uh, uh, parts slide back and forth. Um, and uh, you know you can play around with these other guys as well, um, but they're a lot of fun and they can definitely give you more options with your um, with your parts. <laughs>